everybody, I'm at the movie theater. It's uh, Saturday the 31st. X-Men finally premiered, Days of Future Past, yesterday. I'm about to check out this movie and I was just thinking, man, I was like 14, 15 years ago when the first X-Men premiered. And after all that, it was like the first superhero movie, almost, before Blade. It's crazy that we've gotten this far, for reals. Okay, you can't really see the damn poster, but it's like 3D and shit. Here, let me try it again. We've gotten this far. I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, I am, guys. I feel I have a good feeling about this movie. Singer is back, and it just almost it's almost like full circle with something new. I'll let you guys know how it is when I come out. Peace. Hey guys, Ugh, I'm just waking up here, it's the morning after, seeing uh, X-Men Days of Future Pass, and it was a very, very good movie, a very, maybe, by far, I think, it was probably the best movie that I've seen since The Avengers, uh, it was just very good. All the lines were done very well. There were a lack of some character lines, unfortunately. They were trying to get everybody to have a spot in there. But just what they were trying to do was just so good. And so many feels throughout the whole movie. Um, so many times I've te I teared up during the movie. The, 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 it was like the Avengers... Uh, the feeling you got in the Avengers seeing your characters on screen together for the first time, what you got with the X-Men was this feeling of nostalgia, just like I was telling you guys earlier, the whole idea of uh, the first X-Men movie came out 14, 15 years ago, and just to see these characters again, it was just a perfect from what it looked like and um, I know it's changed now because the movie was such a success but it just seemed like such a perfect send-off for the old cast um, the relationship between the professor and Wolverine Hugh Jackman uh, Patrick Stewart uh, really just uh, touched upon exactly everything Singer set out to do when he first started that um, the X-Men project and God, it was just so touching, uh, the Inception-like scene of waking up and the school and, wow, like I am almost getting a little teary-eyed right now thinking about it. Um, it was just really good, and um, if that's the final swan song and such for the, the original cast, then that was the perfect way to go out. I don't, I don't want them to mess it up uh, just because because of demand and things like that so if they're gonna do it they gotta continue to do it right um quilks quilks quicksilver was really cool um i really liked how that worked and it'll be very interesting to see how the uh they handle that uh with the age of ultron the other uh avenger type people uh different characters and all that but anyways, that's it, dude. That that that's my uh, that's my my point about Days of Future Past. I'm still kind of a bit in a daze because it was just that good. Um, by far the best movie, a uh, comic book movie I've seen in a long time. And I mean, I love this movie, but Days of Future Past was just it was right. It's right up there with the X Men. It may not make as much money. But it damn sure was successful. So, until the next big movie, which will be many years from now, I'm sure, uh, I shall keep my opinions and reactions honest. And one more little thing. The one thing I will point out real quick as I do my Victoria's Secret pose here. <laughs> the one more thing I'm going to point out while I'm in bed here is... Um, this is a this movie is actually a very good tribute uh, a good testimony to you just never know what you're going to get in trailers like as you've seen in some of my earlier commentary before the first trailer was great um but the second one's just sort of was like okay whatever and it was very singer style not very it was a very bleak 
but not and there was action but very bleak and it wasn't really getting you excited so it just shows how not every trailer can still uh not a good movie doesn't actually always have to have a good trailer for each um each trailer coming out doesn't always have to excite you to still be good um yeah I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but sometimes you get tricked when the trailer is better than the movie, Iron Man 3, but in this case, the trailers of uh, X-Men were kind of, okay, so far, nobody was really looking looking forward to it, maybe except that first trailer, but um, the movie was amazing. Okay, going back to sleep.